welcome to your reading for September the 18th through September the 24th. Please excuse the noise outside. I have my windows open. It's a lovely day here in New York City. Um, so this, um, for those of you who've never, I'm Mary Trimble with Live in the Solution. And for those of you who have never seen uh, my readings or tuned in here before, I shuffle the cards and uh, seven cards pop out. I use seven cards, one for each day of the week, and it's the general energy of the, of the day. So if you would like a personal, more focused reading, you'll find that information below in the description box. Um, and I want to thank everyone for the love last week. I really appreciate and love you all. Thank you for the comments and uh, the subscriptions. And I would love it if you would do it all over again. So if you could give me a big thumbs up for this video. Of course, if you like it, please share, uh, comment, give me your feedback and um, subscribe if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's go to the card, shall we? Now on Monday, we have the Eight of Wands. Now this is a very fiery, passionate card. This is really fascinating to me because I don't know if you, if you haven't seen my readings for last week, you should check them out because we have this energy coming in Sunday, Sunday and Monday, and it's Venus goes into a positive aspect with Uranus. Now Venus is the planet of love, money, finance, relationships, beauty, self-awareness, self-esteem, you know, how we feel about ourselves. And Uranus is the planet of surprises, sudden happenings. Now, um, this, because it's in a positive aspect, this is going to be positive. We're going to get some wonderful, exciting <laughs> surprises. So it's no, look, the Knight of Wands is coming in. He's exciting, he's fast, he's passionate. It's like so this can be a really amazing opportunity. Something wonderful is coming through for you on Monday, Libra. Yeah, how cool is that? Um, so now, in, there's a lot going on uh, this week, right? Because we have the new moon in Virgo, which is, you know, a very grounding um, energy, but it's also going to be kind of analytical and it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting time and it's a new moon. So every new moon, um, this is a healing uh, energy as well that we're going into this moon in Pisces. It's going to be very healing. Um, it's going to be healing emotionally. It's going to be healing physically. Um, and one of the things sometimes emotions may come up right before the new moon. So if they do, just allow them to be, allow those emotions to come up observe them, allow, feel them, and release them. And you know, have a new intention for this wonderful new moon and new beginning. Um, because a lot more is going on because Mercury opposes Neptune in Virgo, which is not, this is on Tuesday, and it's not the greatest, um, easiest aspect, right? How, because they're almost opposing all, all of those, you know, Mercury is a planet of intellect and communication. Neptune is like ethereal and, uh, and fantasy and Virgo is very, you know, pra practical and grounding and analytical. So it's very kind of opposing forces, right? However, what that brings into play is creativity. And I can't believe you got the Queen of Wands. She is creative. She's passionate. She's gorgeous. She's fiery. She's so much fun. Listen, it takes a lot for her to lose her control and, and for her to get angry. Hey, but when she does, forget it. You better duck, duck and cover, duck and roll. <laughs> get out of there. Um, so this is a very passionate, fiery energy. Sorry, my paper's really <laughs> flying all over the place. It's a lovely breeze coming in now. I love it. Um, so this is really a wonderful uh, energy that's coming in on Tuesday. And, and just remember that if you, um, so, it, you know, it's about fun. It's about fun and excitement, right? Um, so listen, don't worry. Look, I see on Wednesday, we've got the 10 of swords. So it indicates Libra that you've been through some difficult times, right? 
or something is coming to an end. It's the Ten of Swords on Wednesday. You are over it, whatever it is. This could be old emotions that are coming to the surface that you are going to release and, you know, and allow to leave. And because this indicates that you are done. You're moving on. You are not staying in this any longer. You cannot stay in this any longer, and you see that. Um, so this this is really interesting because when Venus moves into Virgo, right on Tuesday and Wednesday, you've got these kind of energies coming in. Venus is moving into Virgo, so Venus is this planet of love and relationships and what's going to happen is you're going to Virgo um, is grounded analytical and practical right so you're coming out of this um, energy of uh, fantasy you're going okay this energy is kind of weeding out the fantasy right so you're going to take a more practical approach and it may be a decision that you're moving on from certain relationships. You're definitely moving on. You're going to be a lot more grounded and you're going to move on um, from something, uh, whatever that is. And, you know, for some of you, it is relationships. You're going to see the truth in it. And it could be friendships. It could be family. It could be a job. It could be... Um, you know, a career, something that isn't working for you, you are finally going to come out of the fantasy and you're going to see it for the reality that it is. You're going to be more grounded and you'll be a little more analytical. However, having said that, there will still be the softness. Um, so it'll be, it'll, it, 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 you're just going to come to this realization that you need to let this go, uh, whatever that is that's, you know, that you're moving on from. And it could very well be a relationship. So then on, on Thursday, we have the seven of coins. Now, seven, I always say, is an introspective number. It means go. It's like going inside. The answers are always inside, right? So the seven of coins, look, she's in a field, and she's actually, she's worked really, really hard. And she is looking at the fruits of her labor and admiring them. And she's just taking a moment to just look at them and and feel quite proud and good that this is, and it's not like she's gonna stay there all day because she's got a basket, she's moving on, she's keeping it moving, but she is just appreciating it. And I always say when this card comes up, it's saying for us to look, look back and, this is, a to me it's like a self-esteem card, right? This is like, give yourself the credit for all the hard work that you've done and what you've accomplished. It, to me, it's like put down the bat and pick up the feather. Stop beating yourself up for not doing everything perfectly or the way you should do. It's like take a moment, take a breath, a deep breath, and then just go inside and, and give yourself credit. You've done a really good job. You've worked really hard. And look at the fruits of your labor. Don't. This is a really important time right because we're in this really manifesting energy in virgo right virgo is about manifesting it's a, it's the practicality of you know of what's going on around you it's practical it's you know down to earth it's analytical and this is saying get out of your head go inside and and you know give yourself credit for what you have it's so important to focus on what is working in your life as opposed to what isn't. It's really important to come around and see the great qualities you have and how hard you've worked and what you've accomplished. So that's on Thursday. That's very important, Libra. Now, on uh, Friday, we have the Nine of Cups, which is, look, beautiful abundance. Look at all those fruits and coconuts. And this is like, darling, all your needs are being met. This is rejoice in what you have. The hard times are over, you know, the hard times are over. This is beautiful. This is like, this is abundance. So when this card comes up, it's asking you to focus on what you have. You see, not what you haven't. 
but look at the abundance around you. I mean, just be grateful for every little thing that you have. It's like being gratitude. Very important to be in gratitude. I always say this, guys. When you're in gratitude, it's like the law of attraction. You will attract more things to be grateful for when you see your cup as half full instead of half empty. It's a, it's a, you know, it's looking at the positive in life. Now, on, uh, that's on Thursday. On Saturday, we have the strength card. When this card comes up, it's saying, you know, listen, some challenges, we want to rush in and we're like, we want to fight, you know, and we want to use harsh words. When this comes up, it's saying, listen, be diplomatic. Go in and... It's like your, the strength, your strength is in your kindness and compassion. So come at this from a creative aspect. This, this issue that's come up, this dilemma that you have or this uh, challenge. Something that's, this situation requires you to be diplomatic. It requires you to come in and see the other person's side and come in from a grounded aspect. Now, when I, when, when this card comes up, I always say, listen, because some, it's so, this is saying respond, don't react, right? So when we react, we're like, <laughs> right? It's that energy and nobody hears it. They're like, oh my God, what are they talking about? But if you take three deep breaths and you go in and you say, look, I understand how you feel and, uh, and this is what I'm feeling and perhaps we can make a compromise, we can make this work. You know, we don't have to like each other, but we really have to make, you know, be respectful and we have to, this is to me is like putting principles before personalities. So this is coming at it from a different perspective. It's, it's handling a situation with diplomacy and democracy and, and coming in at a very calm level. And when you're calm and you're centered, people hear you as if you're on a loudspeaker. Whereas when you're on a loudspeaker and you're screaming your head off, nobody hears that. Nobody, the people tune that out. They're like, oh God, here we go again. So this situation requires diplomacy and you know, coming in from a place of kindness and compassion, right? Now, on Sunday, we have the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is, out of all the knights, he's like the champion for justice. So I always think of this as like a karmic card because this could be a decision that you have. In, and I always say, listen, when you make a decision, think of the karmic value because the Knight of Swords sometimes reacts very quickly and judges very quickly. So sometimes... Um, you know, Libra, I know that you have the scales and you try to see this both sides of the coin. This is saying, uh, I think when this card comes up, it's saying that try not to judge too quickly. Uh, definitely um, take in all the facts. And, and I feel that that's what you do anyway, uh, Libra. And it's coming up to your birthday as well. And next week you will be first and you will be getting an extra card in your readings for uh, the month, your month, your birthday month uh, for each reading. So um, I digress. This card is saying you can act swiftly, but be discerning. Um, about how you, this to me is also like a, I'm getting respond instead of react to. So don't be quick to judge because sometimes like he'll go in, he's, and he, he he's, you know, intelligent and, and he's shrewd, he can see through a situation, um, but come at it with compassion and kindness, right? Instead of bravado and, you know, swords out, you know? and um, gently uh, handle this situation. I feel that this is the same energy, actually. Uh, that's what I'm getting. So this is the Knight of Swords. Uh, this energy is very fast moving. 
and this is saying handle this because this you know it can be fluid this can be a period of over two days you know this, this something can come up for you so I would just say um, and what's really interesting is you know on Friday the Sun moves into Libra so it's very more balanced we're gonna have a more balanced uh, kind of energy moving in so this is a wonderful energy that we're moving into your energy Libra so this is saying um, don't be quick to judge right if something comes up take in all the details and you know look at it in a balanced way diplomatic way and uh, a democ a democratic way so involve the other people and um, come at this situation creatively with compassion and kindness that's it that's what I'm getting for you so Libra thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you next week for some of you your birthday will be at the end of the week so happy birthday to you too and uh, you'll get your extra card next week so I love you and appreciate you all Mwah! I'll see you next week for a personal reading please email Mary at live in the solution dot com